Hey guys, Drew here from SwingTradingBootCamp.com. Welcome to your Swing Trading Week in Review for the week closing April 29th, 2016. Uh, definitely an interesting week in the market this week. Um, as far as the day trading went, it was a very smooth, uh, nice moving market. But for the overnight trades, uh, definitely a week of transition where we watched uh, the market kind of fail to make new highs here and actually turn to the downside. So we're looking at the chart. Uh, of the Dow right now you can see after our most recent high uh, we pulled back at the end of last week started out this week into a two-day kind of sideways pattern made a move to the upside um, this is a move that got a lot of traders long uh, and then we turned around and sold off on Thursday and Friday pretty heavily uh, look over at the S&P basically the same chart pattern here after the most recent high a little bit of a pullback uh, we think we're gonna make a new move to the high here uh, but again, nice reversal day on Thursday, and we finished with the follow-through on Friday. Uh, last week, when we looked at the NASDAQ, tech got hit pretty heavy. We saw the gap down here last week. Uh, and then we opened up the week. Uh, we went kind of flat Monday and Tuesday, and then another big gap down Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That brings the NASDAQ under its 50-day moving average. Uh, definitely the weakest of the three indices. Um, so with that being said, let's take a look around at some of the sectors, uh, sector ETFs that we uh, have been watching lately. Obviously oil, uh, off to new highs, bucking the trend here with the pullback uh, in the market. Uh, the energy sector uh, right along behind it uh, actually made a new move to the high. Now we're getting a little bit of a pullback. So there's still a very strong uh, sector, one to watch as we uh, go into next week as well. Uh, another sector was the financials, showing some definite strength in the market lately. We moved to new highs here uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, and then we got the pullback with uh, the Thursday and Friday sell-off in the market. Still trading well above its 50-day. Um, definitely a sector to watch because it's uh, got some very strong performing stocks within that sector. So as we move into next week, uh, we have some of those on our list to watch to the long side. Another sector we've been watching is the steel sector. Uh, definitely holding up here, got a pullback. And actually, uh, after Monday, uh, we had a reversal day on Tuesday, and then it kind of moved up to new highs. Now, we're going to see if we can actually take out this high or if we're going to get a sell-off and uh, bring the steel sector back towards its 50-day as well. Uh, last week, we posted about the home builders. Um, long consolidation pattern here near its high. Uh, didn't really go up with the last move in the market. That was a cause of concern. Uh, last week we posted um, that there's definitely going to be a move in the home builders. We just don't know which way. Well, we got our, our answer at the end of this week. Failure to move higher. Failure to take out the most recent high. Um, more sideways trading Monday through Wednesday. And then the sell-off bringing the home builders back uh, right above its 50-day moving average. Uh, we also posted about the retail sector. Another questionable sector because it was kind of diverging from the market strength. Um, we actually have been stocking some of the individual equities within the retail sector uh, because they've been showing some real signs of weakness. Uh, but this week brought the retail sector right back to its 50 day. Another strong sector we've been watching is the healthcare sector, uh, but basically had a very, very bad week. Monday through Friday, big sell off in that sector bringing uh, a lot of those names uh, back on a pullback with it. Uh, we'll keep watching this one to the long side. We still think there's a lot of strength in this sector, but we'll see how the market moves uh, as we get into next week. The biotechs uh, really got hit hard again, back to its 50-day uh, volume coming in towards the end of the week, just about uh, with everything else. So we're going to watch uh, this one, see how it reacts around its 50-day. Uh, we definitely have some individual stocks in this sector that we're watching uh, as well. The semis, uh, semiconductors, basically a long, drawn-out, sideways, choppy, consolidating pattern. Uh, broke down finally Thursday and Friday, pushing it through its 50-day on some really uh, impressive volume there. So it's one of the sectors, of course, uh, in the tech sector with the NASDAQ that is getting hit the most. Uh, so if this market transition to more of a bearish market, we're looking uh, for sectors like this that have shown the relative weakness that may be flipping over to the weak side that may lead the, may, uh, lead the way down. Uh, two good sectors that we are watching this week. 
we posted about also last week gold has a really nice uh, pattern here really nice um, the newest high was here then we made a higher high a higher low and then this was the opportunity for us to get in on to uh, a very good trade in uh, the gold sector some individual stocks in there as well with some really good chart patterns and we'll take a look at those uh, also uh, and the silver sector after this gap little pullback here and then Tuesday through Friday off to the races again so these two sectors are definitely um, leading the way oil still strong but with the overall market turning to the, the weak side here we're looking uh, into that silver and gold sector to make some nice trades um, let's take a look at some of the individual stocks that were on our list that we were uh, either watching and or trading this week and just to show you how uh, how they turned out we're watching Boeing uh, early in the week uh, we got a nice pop we got some nice volume in that stock um, it just broke out to its most recent high here um, and now we're showing a little bit of a pullback on Thursday and Friday. We're going to see how this one trades, but uh, definitely an opportunity on Tuesday to make that trade to the long side. Uh, this is an interesting chart pattern because we uh, it's a it's a good area to show you how the the price action and volume account when you see uh, a failure in an uptrend and how it looks when a stock uh, kind of transitions from uh, strong to weak so you can see here we have a nice uptrending pattern here uh, we are looking at the stock uh, early in the week and when you see this signal on Tuesday uh, definitely a buy signal to see if you get some follow through in the market uh, the next day kind of stalls on lower volume makes a turnaround day here a reversal day and then it fails to take out this most recent high creating a lower high and then the push down on volume so this is a very depending on your trading strategy a very interesting trade to make and when you actually put your trend line in here you can kind of see that it's breaking that trend line on volume um, if you're the type of trader that uh, trades both sides of the market uh, within trading channels this was a good short trade to make as it broke down from the trading channel uh, towards its 50 day another stock that was on our list was uh, Ryder you can see here early in the week we had this uh, had this pullback and then on Tuesday shot up to new highs on really impressive volume a little bit of follow through on Wednesday on higher volume a stall day Thursday and now we're getting a little bit of a pullback here um, unlike the last uh, chart that we showed you it you know it, it actually did make new highs so this pullback if the market does turn what you would expect to see in something like this is, a, is another pullback here and then maybe a run towards the high again with a failure and then a rollover uh, so something to watch as our uh, our writer transitions possibly if the market starts to go south uh, another stock that was on our list PCAR really good stock to trade nice solid base here um, breaking out to new highs on volume a little bit of a gap and as it pulled back definitely an opportunity to play the long side uh, and I think if you set your trailing stop and your profit target at the right level, um, this move to the upside was big enough for you to capture uh, a nice trade. If you are more of a trend trader, you're getting two pullback days here along with the market, and you're just going to have to see how uh, it starts to play out from this uh, most recent pullback. Another stock that was on our list, Caterpillar. Another one here. Uh, uh, after the new high four days of pullback inside bar and if you look at the price volume here you look at this combination that we talk about all the time when we when we're trading our PVT method um, you see an up move here towards the new high it's, it's giving you indication that it's going to move higher the volume though gives us a good warning there's not a tremendous amount of buying volume coming into this stock um, taking everything into context even though it on the on the chart pattern could have triggered a buy signal uh, the lack of volume supporting that decision um, kept us out of this trade and now you can see the next two days as the market sold off um, it kind of is going sideways the volume uh, came into it on Friday but it it uh, pulled back at the end of the day kind of uh, to make it uh, it's closed pretty much near the open so not a big sell-off in Caterpillar uh, so we're just going to watch even though we might have missed an, an initial opportunity on Wednesday we think if uh, the market does turn 
and this stock has some more room to the upside is going to give us another buy signal uh, that matches the volume confirmation that we like to receive. Let's take a look at NTAP. NTAP was one, it's uh, definitely a very weak tech sector was hit last week as we keep talking about, sold off past its 50 day and then we're getting a nice uh, little four day uh, semi pullback towards its 50 day here and then the next opportunity to get short was on Thursday. It's showing relative weakness trading under its 50 day, market showing some sign of, of pulling back so now you have um, a lower low and now it's a good opportunity for you to enter into a short trade there. Follow through on Friday on volume. Uh, definitely good signs if you're trading NTAP to the short side. Now we talked a little bit about the retail sector earlier, how it showed uh, some relative weakness last week. So we're looking around and picking stocks within that sector that were also showing weakness and uh, came across a nice uh, chart here in Macy's. Um, we saw that it's trading under its 50 day. We had a little little uh, pullback towards the uh, 50 period moving average. Another move down, the volume kind of dried up here. And then we get another little two day uptick. Volume kind of declines on the second day. Inside bar on Thursday. And then a new move to the downside on volume on Friday. Um, this lower high in conjunction with this move and volume pattern was definitely a, a good opportunity to get short Macy's. Another one within the retail sector uh, that was on our list. Charts are working a little bit slow here. Is Abercrombie. Uh, you can see here is fighting to, uh, to get above its 50 day. Uh, failed as the retail sector kind of stalled out as well. Um, then you saw a, an attempt to pull back on Tuesday, back towards its 50 day, the failure, and then the turnaround on volume Wednesday, Thursday, uh, with the Friday follow through as well. Another uh, interesting trade to the short side in Abercrombie. Uh, on the long side, we talked about the strong sectors being uh, gold and silver. So two trades that really stood out for us this week. Barrett Gold, very nice. Great chart pattern here to trade. You had a pullback uh, a few weeks ago. You had a move to the high, couldn't uh, move to the high, but couldn't take it out. Sideways consolidation, uh, narrowing wedge here that you could have traded. On Tuesday, volume came into the stock, um, and now you want to see the stock push through on volume once it breaks out of this new high. Uh, so Wednesday had more volume coming in, but was struggling with the high. But then on Thursday and Friday, as the market sold off. Uh, more volume came into the um, into the stock and into the entire sector and then Friday you see good follow through nice long trade uh, in ABX and then the final stock that we'll show you is another uh, is one from the silver sector uh, again had to move to new highs here uh, two-day pullback on lower volume nice volume pattern there uh, when uh, I'm sorry Tuesday was the day to watch that signaled along and what you're looking for again is follow through to the upside on volume. Uh, Tuesday was again uh, not too much volume coming into it. Uh, sold off initially but then right back up to its high and then Wednesday and Thursday uh, had the follow through to the high finishing off with a new high on Friday. Um, so that's basically what we've been watching this last week. Um, as we go into next week's trading it is going to be very interesting to see how the Dow and the S&P hold up. Um, especially as they pull back towards their 50 day uh, make, making this lower high here it's going to be interesting to see if we transition into a, of a more short market uh, so what I would advise you to do at this point as always is um, have your stocks ready for both sides of the market depending on what the market decides to do from here uh, have your plan ready your trade set up because if we start to sell off um, I think we're still in a nice channel to the upside. Uh, we're still trading above the 50 day so we're primarily looking for longs but if the market shows us that we are starting to transition more to that short side we definitely have our sectors as we pointed out today and some individual stocks that we'll be looking at uh, as we move into next week. So as always until next week we'll give you another update but until then good trading to you.